receive their advice. <laughs> Question number 10. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the, the Minister, Paul Goldsmith. the Minister of Employment, does he stand by his statement in the Manukau Courier? For nine years, we've had government policy which has offered up little more than lip service to job creation. If so, can he confirm that in the past two years, an average of more than 10,000 jobs a month have been created in this country? The Honourable Willie Jackson. Uh, absolutely, absolutely yes, uh, Mr. Speaker. I stand by my statement. And to answer the second part of the question, as the Prime Minister answered so eloquently earlier, uh, that is one interpretation of reports. But what I can confirm is that Statistics New Zealand data shows around 245,000 more people are in some form of employment than two years ago. And I'll, I'll just let the member know that his team has another supplementary. Uh, supplementary. Uh, if 10,000 new jobs a month is not good enough, what target will he commit to? Speaker, this uh, government is uh, uh, absolutely committed to real jobs, jobs with dignity, jobs with a future, and we want to lower unemployment for a group of people, sir, that the National Party have forgotten all about. What is the current average wage? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, um, at the moment uh, we know what the average wage is, and that, and that, that MP, that MP needs to do some research. <laughs> a, a, for, is it a point of order on me for allowing the question? No, it's just it's I'd like to have an answer. Not. The Honourable Paul Goldsmith. It's a point of order. I'd ask a very simple question and I didn't get any answer. Yeah, yes, and, and I'm, I'm not sure of its relationship with the original question. I'm speaking to the point of order. Uh, a point of order, Jerry Brown. I, I assume you're considering whether or not you'll, you'll act on that point of order. I, mean, to, I, I, am, I, am, I am considering. You are? OK, yes. well, we'll all be quiet. We have a bit of consideration. That'd be great. For the, uh, for the Minister's information, the average wage is nearly 60000 a year, uh, a 28 per cent increase on uh, nine years ago, no, question, which is twice question. the rate of employment. And so, given that, what would his target be for increasing the average wage? Um, I, I, I would have given some extra questions if, in fact, we'd had a question. And, and we did at the end, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the Honourable Willie Jackson answer that question but I do want both sides to settle down, and I especially want questions not to have prefaces. Sorry, Mr Speaker, what, what was the question again? Well, I, th I think if the Honourable Paul Goldsmith just does the tail end of what he said before. And so uh, my question to the Minister is, what is his target for increasing the average wage? Our, our target, sir, is to create real jobs with dignity amongst our communities. Mr Speaker, this is, a, this is an opposition, sir, this is an opposition, sir, that had forgotten, has forgotten a big group of people in New Zealand, the Māori nation and the Pacific Island nation. Shame on you! Uh, Mr Speaker, um, I was just conscious that uh, the Minister today has asked a question talking about the importance of of a certain type of jobs which delivers dignity and so on. Yeah. Uh, and one would have thought, as therefore the Minister of Employment, that one of the key ways of delivering dignity and employment is, is, is the size of the wage that is paid. It's not the only way, but it's one of the key ways. So um, I, it would be fair, surely, to actually have some considered answers to these questions about what sort of average wage uh, the Minister might be looking for, or indeed what is the average wage, given that he's the Minister of Employment. And, and I'm, I think, think the... Uh, uh, the member for his point of order, I am really con consistent with my predecessors and say uh, that I am not going to take responsibility of the quality of the answers. No, too late. Paul Eagle. Hey, I, I hope it's not a related matter, Mr Robertson. Um, it's a related matter to the nature of supplementary questions, Mr Speaker. Is that... uh, well, I, I have allowed them and we've passed, and I've made some, I've made some rulings pretty clearly on that. Thank you. The, Paul Eagle. 
Uh, supplementary question, Mr Speaker. What has the Minister seen that highlights uh, that the creation of jobs for Māori and Pacifica people are lagging behind those of others? <clears throat> Mr Speaker, I've seen the recent um, uh, unemployment figures that show under the previous government, Māori and Pacifica people were more than two times more likely to be under unemployed than others. And that highlights the job creation under the previous government left parts of our community unacceptably behind. Supplementary. All legal. What other examples has the minister seen of lip service to job creation? That's, um, <laughs> the member will resume his seat. That, that is not a supplementary question. Supplementary question. Uh, to the minister, when he wrote Quote, I am a Minister of Employment to make a real difference, not appease easy stereotypes and lazy journalism. Which journalists did he think were being lazy? Oh, Mr Speaker, there's many, there are many fine journalists, particularly the ones who write negative ar um, uh, articles about the opposition. Supplementary question, Ian Lees Galloway. Uh, to the Minister, what impact does he anticipate the Government's plan to progressively raise the minimum wage to $20 per hour and, and to enhance workers' bargaining position in the workplace will have on average wages? <laughs> Mr Speaker, huge, huge impact. Huge impact. Uh, and our, uh, workers, workers are so uh, happy with the, the changes at the moment. Uh, particularly uh, after being under attack for the last nine years from a disgraceful opposition sir. Paul Goldsmith. How, to the Minister, how long will it take to get to that target? Sorry, by, by the, sir, Mr Speaker, uh, if, if the Minister has been reading our press releases, by the, by the year 2020, Inscribe it on your forehead. 2020 will get our workers, our people, all people, up to a livable wage. 2020. Okay, I, I, we will now move on to the next question, but I am, I, am going to, I am going to remind the Minister that suggesting that the Speaker get tattoos is not a good thing. <laughs> Kira Tapu, Alan. Sir, my question is to the Minister of Agriculture. 